I, I thought we had some crucial defensive breakdowns at stages, um, but when you go eight for 37 from the field between <coughs> Madgen, Aaron Bruce, Corin Henry, and Kevin White, you're not going to win too many games. I mean, if you can't put the ball in the basket, that's what the game's about. And I, I thought we had some really good looks, and um, you know, we, we, we're not shooting the ball well. One thing you were cri critical of after the Adelaide games was the effort, which is something you haven't had to be critical of much this year, the way you know, as hard as these guys have played. Were you happy with the, the effort overall tonight? Yeah, I thought the effort was good. I thought um, you know the mindset of the guys overall was good. We had a few mental breakdowns. Um, you know, I was really happy with the way Crosby and Darnell both really brought mm. their A games. I thought they were the shining lights of, of our team. You know, I mean, held us together offensively, you know, both really aggressive, both mm -hmm. crashing the boards. Um, thought we really dominated inside tonight. And we challenged these guys during the week to be able to go and do that. And I thought they both put their hand up. I said, yep, that's what we're going to get done. Could you could you have used them to an even greater extent? Because there wasn't a single three-pointer in, in the first quarter. And it was tough, obviously, from outside for the whole game. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it was 11 from 12 from the field. Mm -hmm. And then, you, you know, you, you go on as much as you can, from, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the shots that our guys have made all year, as far as Madden is a leading scorer in the league, he goes four for 16. You know, it's not what you expect from him, but, um, you know, that's part of it. And I, you know, I, I, I'm not sure we could have gone at him anymore. I thought they just did a good job with this. Was it just a, a poor shooting night for Madden, or good defence, or is he, is, he, uh, is he suffering anyway from the ankle, anything else? No, nah, I mean, I think as a shooter, you have those nights at stages, unfortunately, and, um, you know, he's been ultra consistent, he's been by far our most consistent scorer all year in the NBL, so, you know, I guess he's entitled to be able to have a, a night like that every now and again. You threw a few different people at Flynn, obviously we saw Corrin there on him for a fair bit of the time, I think he finished with 6 and 17 at the end, how do you, how do you kind of evaluate your, your defensive performance on him? Um, I, I was disappointed that we let him get 15 free throws, I thought, you know, he's the sort of player you get a challenge to continue to make three point shots, keep him out of the paint. But um, I, I thought we broke down at stages on that. I mean, he's a class player though, and you take your hat off to him. He has 27 points and five assists. We created six turnovers from him, but um, you know, he's, he's a good player and we didn't get it done. You've had some issues against the zone. A lot of teams have recently thrown it against you. Did you feel like during the game you were sort of making better adjustments to attack the zone? Is that something you feel like you'd be able to do moving forward? Yeah, I don't think we've ever had a problem making adjustments against the zone. Um, when you get people the ball and you don't make a shot, you don't need adjustments. You just need to be able to put the ball in the hole. Um, you know, when you go three from 22 from the three point line and you have a look at how many of those with good looks. You know, it's disappointing, but you know, I guess the, the first, what, 12 weeks that Harvey was out of the team, no one, you know, believed that we were missing him and he keeps saying we really need what he brings to the table, we need it, we need it, and it's like, yeah, sure, sure you need it. It's like now people, I think, understand we actually need what he does and why he was signed because we just like that potent three-point shooter. Is he getting any closer? Yeah, I think he'll be, he'll be back in the next couple of weeks, but... Um, you know, we're hoping to make a late run for him to get at least four to six weeks into the finals and then hope that's enough time for him to be able to contribute because we don't expect after 12 to 14 weeks on the sideline with a broken arm because he hasn't been able to shoot the ball too much that he's going to be able to come back and just be able to contribute straight away. Shane, we've talked before about uh, Madge being leading scorer in the league and the confidence you have in him and all that. Um, what, what do you say to him when, when uh, at one point you sort of had to take him off, he wasn't really making his shots and you sort of had to talk to him as he comes off the court? Was there anything about that confidence? And, no, you know, no, he shoots the ball with confidence. I mean, when, when people come off, you give them feedback about where they can get shots. And, you know, I didn't think Madge had a great defensive game tonight. You know, I thought he struggled a little bit in that area. And, you know, as a scorer, you can't let how you're going offensively affect how you're playing defensively. And that's, you know, the areas that I feel like he's grown and, you know, he didn't have a great one tonight and, you know, I'm sure you'll learn from it. Donnell, I mean, uh, you guys started, OK, I think it was 15-12 and then they, they put something like 19 straight points on you either side of the first quarter break. Well, what do you attribute that to? Was it just some breakdowns or switching off or bad shooting or, or what? Well, I think we had turned the ball over a couple times, but I think we just weren't uh, as aggressive as we needed to be defensively in the first half, I think. You know, we were down 16 before we really turned it on and played the way we know we're capable of playing. Uh, I think we were, we were a little lethargic at the beginning, and they made some shots, and then we also put them to the line also. I don't think they shot the ball too well in the half-court set, but they 
shot playing in free throws, and you know, we just can't do that. How frustrating is it to go down by three and you have sort of the stats and you miss 13? Oh, it's very, it's, it's very frustrating. You know, when you think about the game, you definitely think that, you know, they didn't win the game, more or less we lost the game. You know, we missed 13 free throws. Uh, we had seven turnovers in the third quarter. And just, you know, times we needed to get stops, we didn't necessarily get them. So when you think about those plays, play here or play there, that's the game. So it's definitely frustrating. Shane, with, with Wollongong and yourselves perhaps treading a little bit of water the last few weeks, Obviously, the teams in that bottom half of the, the eight are now getting closer. How, how much of a dogfight is this last third of the season going to be? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be massive. I think, you know, that's probably been complimentary saying that all young and us are treading water. Um, I was trying to be that one. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. I like that. I appreciate that. But it's a leaking boat at the moment. And, you know, that's why it's a good challenge for us. You know, maybe the results that we're getting now is more what people expected at the start. So that's why it's a great challenge for us to draw a line in the sand and say that, you know, this can't happen. We have to be able to fight to be able to continue to become better. And if we make the playoffs, it's about making the playoffs and playing well in the playoffs, not just trying to scrag and find a way to be able to get into the, the playoffs and be satisfied with that. I mean, you never really talked much, obviously, about making the playoffs and keeping those expectations in check. Did, did yourselves or the players start to, to think a little bit more about playoffs when before this losing run? No, because I mean, right from the start, I've told these guys, I'm not, we're not aiming for the playoffs. I'm not aiming for the playoffs. Um, we said that we're aiming to win a championship, and you know, I've been saying for the last month, you know, when we were nine and six, that you know, we have to be able to remain, you know, with our feet on the floor. Whether you win or lose, we have to be able to ride that. We can't be up and down all the time. And this is, you know, this is no different. This is just a big challenge for us, and um, you know, hopefully we'll come through it. Daniel, you've had a good run of games lately where you've made a solid impact on the game. Is it, was that any change in mindset for you? Or it's just the sort of way the ball rolls. Uh, well, you know, I, coach has a lot of confidence in me and different things that I bring to the floor. I wanted to challenge myself personally to elevate my game in the second half of the season. Uh, coach challenged me, so it's just, you know, I'm just trying to raise the ball. You know, like coach said, it's one game at a time and you just trying to we're trying to win a championship and I know for us to win a championship I have to play at a certain level so I'm just trying to come out and do my piece of the puzzle. Shane have you, have you ever seen IC play much better than he did tonight? Sorry who's that? Ian uh, Crossman? Ian, yeah, yeah. Um, he was fantastic mm -hmm. and again you know we've challenged both Crossy and, and Darnell because we need their scoring punch and the authority inside playing like you know, rebounding and offensive boards. And you're right, I mean, Darnell's really attacked the offensive boards over the last month and done a good job. We want Crozzy to feel like he gets the ball inside. He has to attack the basket. And I feel like at stages too many times, his natural personality and what he's done all his life is he catches it inside and wants to pass it off all the time. He's very unselfish. But for him to be unselfish, we need him to be selfish at stages. Um, and that's what's going to help the team. And I thought tonight he did a really good job of that. He changed his mindset and he showed you know, what he can do. And we don't expect him to get 27 points every week, but we expect him to raise the bar of where he's pushing himself and what he can do. Thanks, guys. Good on you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.